we will present you a great paper on which is a passing score for future selection. This paper published by He, Chow, and Niyogi from Computer Science Department of Chicago and Illinois Universities. Before a deep dive to the paper, let's enlighten a few basic concepts. First one is dimensional reduction. Working with too many features requires a high storage and it has high computational cost and mostly give us low performance. Feature selection used for selecting most contributing features and eliminating the irrelevant features. And dimensional reduction is also good for visualization of the data. There are two main methods. First of them is wrapper method. methods. First, select a subset of features, then update the subset according to performance of classifier. Performance of classifier is improved iteratively. Wrapper methods can be used on unlabeled data as well. Filter methods are learner independent. Feature selection part carried by specific feature selection algorithm or heuristic. Rank features relying on characteristics of the data during the feature selection process, but filter methods can only be used for labeled data. Filter methods computationally efficient. On the other hand, wrapper methods expect to be optimal. So let's look at the concepts of our paper and start with Laplacian matrix of graph. Laplacian matrix that holds the property lambda 0 small or equal to lambda 1 and lambda 1 small or equal to lambda 2 and so on. Lambda 1 represents the algebraic connectivity of the graph and number of null values with an eigenvalue vector represent the number of connected components of the graphs and now you can see the Laplacian graph. Laplacian score for feature selection based on Laplacian eigenmaps and locality preserving projection. Laplacian eigenmaps nonlinear dimensionality reduction that has locality preserving properties that is insensitive to outliers and noise. Locality preserving projection linear dimensionality reduction that preserves local neighborhood information. And in many learning problems, local structure of the data space is more important than the global structure. Laplacian scope seeks those features that respect this graph structure onto the nearest neighbor graph. Let's look at the key steps of the algorithm. First, construct the nearest neighborhood graph G with M nodes. Then, fill the similarity matrix S. And for each feature, create a vector, in this case it's FR, and calculate the D matrix based on S and calculate L from subtracting D subtracting S from D. L matrix is often called Laplacian. And at the last step, compute the Laplacian score for art feature as follows. So let's like make it easy. In the first graph, algorithm looks to two nearest neighborhoods. And the second one, 4. And let's see how algorithm fill the similarity matrix. That's the formula. And so on. We iterate over all neighbors and fill the S matrices. F vector create for all features and carry its values. Creating a diagonal matrix D where each element in the diagonal is the sum of the corresponding row in S and then calculate L, the graph Laplacian, based on D and S. By subtracting standardization term from FR we calculate the FR tilde, then the Laplacian score based on the FR tilde. And there are the steps and the corresponding code parts. 
For constructing graph, we use Euclidean distance. Then create the S matrix, then the D matrix, and at the last step, we compute the Laplacian score. Experimental results of the paper. In the paper, authors use two different data sets. First one is Iris data, which is widely used, and the second one is Pi data set, which has 1,024 1, different features, and the Iris data set has three different classes and four different features. And accuracy and the mutual information used as evaluation matrix. As you can see, Laplacian score has far better results when you compare with the variance. It's also used for unlabeled data. Laplacian score can use for both labeled and unlabeled data. Okay. Even if we change the number of classes in the clustering, Laplacian score still has far better accuracy than the variance for both accuracy and mutual information. At the beginning, it has far better results, but at the end, the irrelevant features are also used in the data, so accuracy goes down. And the experiment on the Iris dataset, as I mentioned before, there are four different features in the Iris dataset, and by using Laplacian score, the author select the two most important features. And as you can see, we have a clear clustering result. But when, you, when we look at the other features, there is no. So, let's look at the implementation of the codes. Let's start with the calculating the Laplacian score. As you can see, if a feature has lower Laplacian score, that means it has higher importance. That means that feature has higher importance. In this case, third feature has the is the most important one, than the fourth. Let's look at the clustering results. By using Laplacian score, we have the same pattern as we saw in the paper. And by using other features, we have the also we have also the same pattern, which is not good clustering result. And for accuracies, that's the Iris dataset. We have four different features, and at the beginning, Laplacian score has high accuracy when you compare with the variance. And the Pi dataset is not an open source dataset, so instead of this, we use OpDigit dataset which has 10 classes and 64 different features. And still, Laplacian score has far better accuracy when we compare with the variance. So, at the end, in the paper, a new filter method for feature selection was introduced. And also, the paper proved that local ge geometric structure is crucial, crucial for discrimination. Experiments on Iris dataset and Pyface dataset, and also we implemented in OpDigit dataset, shows the efficiencies of algorithm. Thank you.